welcome, 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 welcome back to another vlog on Pets Vlogs. <laughs> another vlog on Pets Vlogs. So today you can see based on the title. Um, yeah, so it's a story time of how I almost got raped by a male teacher at my high school. So, um, this male teacher was communicating with me a period of time. He was, I wouldn't say a friend of the family, but he, my, my parents knew him, my parents knew him. He saw me a few times, would stop me in the town and ask me if I was okay, blah, 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 blah. Never said anything out of the norm or anything that made me feel that he felt some type of way towards me. He met me on the stripper road that led to my house. Um, I can't say how long before I saw him at school, but he was passing through and I think he called the house number and asked for me and then I went up and spoke to him. I don't remember what in our encounter was, um, but he said something to me and then that was that so yeah we're at school so normally in the high schools uh teachers they go to their staff room or they're in if, if they're like a head of department they would have their class you know they mark the papers do whatever they do you know prepare for the next class or try to get as much work done as possible from the last class that they had so that you know I guess it's managing their workflow yeah so anyway so this teacher who is supposed to be protecting the nation's children moi and back then you know I was um, just painting a picture for you here but then I was slender on the muscular side because you know working on track and field so you're active and such and such and guys the stupid fly this teacher said he wanted to talk to me so all right went to his classroom he I knocked well I will knock on the door I knocked on the door and I didn't hear anything I didn't hear a response or anything so why is this guy bothering me today so <laughs> I didn't hear anything so what I did was to not hey guys can 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 you uh -huh. oh I love me some can yeah yeah anyway let's get back to the story yeah so I knocked again and I think I knocked until I got a response. So he said loud enough to come in. I went in. Hey, right, 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 right. I just remembered something. So he, <laughs> oh my gosh, when you're young and uh, so I won't say stupid, just stupid. <laughs> guys everything is just making itself clear to me right now everything guys this guy said to me that this was oh my gosh all right so all right so I went to the classroom Whoa. I went to the classroom and he opened the door so after knocking a while he opened the door and then guys I hope you're not distracted by my hair I need to pull it out but I have one more scene to shoot I had this here so when I started so I can't take it out until I'm finished shooting this scene and then I promise you guys I'll take it out I've lost a couple Damn! it's here in whatever here at the end whatever I lost a few strands of hair but hmm. It's, it's so hot and I keep getting distracted from my story anyway yeah guys so I knocked he I knocked a few times he answered um, 
asked me to come in I went in and uh, immediately when I went in he went behind me and locked the door not closed the door locked the door so in my head I was like why is he locking the door I'm a student you're a teacher we're not supposed to be alone in a classroom this is not a private tutoring session so why is the door locked anyway he taught TD which is technical drawing and guys I, I you know I was like I feel I was feeling a bit uneasy I don't remember feeling nervous but I remember feeling uneasy and you know slightly on edge so I'm there and he kept up to me he, I'm so sorry guys he came up to me and I kept you know walking backwards and then I realized I walked myself into a corner so my back was deliberately my back was resting against the board and they had I don't remember if it was a whiteboard or a chalkboard or whatever but some board that they wrote on so while I am there and I'm trying to find a way to get away from because he was just being creepy so he was coming up to me and then I <sighs> guys so uh, I kind of pushed him off and asked him what he was doing so he's gonna say to me you know I've always liked you you know you like me and you know I know you know I like you. I'm like, what? Um, no, I thought you're a family friend and... Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. So he's there and he is... At that time now, so I'm pinned against the wall. Well, the board. So at that time I'm pinned against the board. And he is in my personal space as in his body is directly in front of me his hands are on mine because I had my hands on the board trying to support myself to try to find some way to escape and his hands are on mine and guys that guy I remember having a conversation with him before that that was, I think that was the time when he said um, if I could come and see him and he <laughs> this was the weekend when I saw him and he didn't say anything to me about what his plans were which is okay because we're not friends like that we weren't in a relationship or anything so didn't need to say anything but I said that because this is the other part of the story when he said he wanted to talk to me um, that was at school when he said he wanted to talk to me and I could come by the class I noticed that he had a ring on his finger he never had that ring before so he said oh I said oh you have a ring on he said um, yes, I got married over the weekend the same weekend that I saw him that he called to talk to me or for me to see him and He said Yeah, I got married over the weekend So I said okay, congratulations. He said okay, and then he mentioned about Wanting to talk to me So I'm back in the classroom now. So I was just told you that to tell you this so I'm back in the classroom now, right guys? And <laughs> this guy, this guy had the nerve to try to grope me or assault me sexually. And I don't know, I don't know where this power came from or this Texas Ranger. <laughs> Jackie Chang, Wu Tang, the reflexes came from, but I lifted my leg and I pushed him off so I could get space, with, space between us and I kicked him in his groin. Dumb, stupid, dumb, huh? Believe me, 
and he was in so much pain I ran to the door opened it um, well unlock it first opened it ran down the steps and then funny enough his classroom was at the back of the compound the school compound so I had another teacher who he was a family friend as well and he has always protected me like always and he saw me hustling and running and cursing I don't use curse words but I was cursing <clears throat> he asked me what happened and I told him that the teacher tried to rape me and he was so mad and <clears throat> He told a few more teachers, he told me to wait in his staff room, and he told a few more male teachers, and they went around there for the teacher. Through where the teacher, he was gone. Because they tried to call the cops, and he was gone. And can I tell you, when we went to try and talk with the principal, the principal had some, either the principal wasn't there or had some meeting or something, but we never get to talk. We did not get to talk to the principal. It, <laughs> I want to call him the N-word so badly because I'm like, dude, that creep, that pervert. Got married. Planned a flight. And I guess he wanted to have his way with me before he was flying off. He had his last class. And I don't, I don't even think he resigned. He had a flight booked. So after he did what he did, he left the compound and went to the airport. And flew out. And I never got resolved because we don't know where he went. As in country or whatever. And. I don't know it, it never shook me up I don't know why it just never did I guess so many shit happened to me in my life that I don't know it never shook me up so um <laughs> he flew out he flew out and nothing happened like nothing happened so you know the moral of the story is both females and males, youngsters, teenagers, preteens, be aware. Let somebody else know what's going on. Let your parents know what's going on. If your parents aren't giving you enough support, talk with other people, have people in your corner, and have somebody, somebody, somebody will be able to help you out um, be aware never go anywhere by yourself um, <clears throat> even if it's a teacher that wants to see you go with a friend the friend can stay outside if they can't be a part of that meeting but I know it's hard sometimes because your teacher is you know literally governing you at school but something I have to be aware because I didn't know I didn't see this coming and parents Please have a good relationship with your children so they can tell you everything that's happening. When I told my parents, they were so shocked. They were so shocked. They did not know that. <laughs> they didn't even know what to do because the guy wasn't in the country anymore. The guy wasn't in the country anymore. So, you know. <laughs> But students, youngsters, parents, be vigilant, have good relationships with each other, and uh, talk to each other. It doesn't matter how bad they think it is, talk to somebody, talk to an adult, talk to your parents, because they can help you out. Sometimes they, sometimes you can't see what's happening, but if you, you're talking to somebody, they can put, they can, they, they can pick up the red flags. Also... they can act swiftly and get justice for any injustice that may occur yeah so guys yeah so that happened
I'd like to give a shout out to all my subscribers, all my viewers. You know I love you. I'm Shauna K. I don't remember ever giving you a shout out ever. So shout out to you. Shout out to Vince. If I've left out anybody else, comment in the comment section and I'll put you in a shout out next video. Um, yeah, so guys, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the red subscribe button, hit the notification bell. When you see the option for all, click all so you won't miss another video. Yeah, yeah. Like, comment, share. Yeah, guys, please share my videos so that we can grow together. We're a community now. Yeah, yeah.